Once choked and eroded paths are being rejuvenated in projects which are bringing multiple benefits, finds Sandra Dick. The name given to the patch of ground at the heart of Paisley's Fergusley Park was quaint enough, the village green. It seems appropriate, the circle of green space is surrounded by homes, schools, a community centre, an ideal place for people to gather, socialise, relax. However the reality, concedes Terry McTurnan, was rather less appealing. It was a hot spot for antisocial behaviour, he says. When it was dark, people would go there for a drink and they'd set a bin on fire to keep warm. It was a dumping ground, where people went when it was dark to drink because no one saw you. I've lived here for 23 years and have never seen it a bouncy castle here, a car boot sale. Nothing. No one used it as a community space. Over 20 years of neglect, the paths leading from the village green were overgrown with weeds. There were no benches to rest and nothing other than dumped rubbish and broken bottles. Today, however, as the result of a remarkable community effort that has had benefits which surely no one could have foreseen, the village green and its network of paths have been revitalized. The latest phase of regeneration work is now begin following the award of a grant that will enable the often maligned Fergusley Park community to create access ramps for wheelchairs and prams, to install benches and to complete the challenge to turn what was a village green in name only, into a true public space. The grant, confirmed this week, is among 44 projects from the Isle of Skye to the borders to receive a share of £72,560 by Scotland's walking charity Paths for All. They include communities with plans to install signs and lighting to make them more accessible to local users, to more adventurous schemes to open long-forgotten areas to a new generation of visitors and to develop tourism. The money will go towards simple tasks such as clearing debris to structural improvements, installing signage and lighting, hiring tools and contractors to help with work, promoting routes and improving biodiversity along path networks. At the heart of each project is a powerful community effort to improve the surroundings and bring neighbours closer. As a result, the estimated figure for the community group's volunteer and kind contribution is calculated to be over £271,000. At Fergusley Park, the benefits are said to go far beyond simply tidying up an area so unpleasant that elderly residents are said to pay for a taxi journey to take them around it, rather than cross its few hundred yards by foot. No one was holding anyone to account over it, says Mr. McTurnan, who runs Darkwood Crew, part of Fergusley Community Council which is dedicated to cleaning up the area. It was a downtrodden area, for more on this story, visit the news article link.